it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today. This video is going to be changing out and updating my Pocket TN wallet. And I had an idea and I'm hoping that I can kind of work it out on this video with you guys and hope that it turns out well. We'll see. Let me kind of do a flip through of what is inside my Pocket TN wallet. This is a uh, natural and it has patinaed so well. This is Eternal Leather Goods. It is a pocket TN with four strands and I love it. I, I've had a lot of people on Instagram ask about kind of this little puckering here. I think it's because there's four. If you order the two, it comes with like a little bracket that probably keeps it from puckering. It doesn't bother me at all that it's puckering. So. Just wanted to touch on that because I, I have had people ask questions about it. We'll do a quick flip through. Let's get in here. This is kind of the standard setup in my wallet. It's been working really well. I have just a bookmark. I can't remember where I got this bookmark. I will probably link it below. I have my little to-do list that I just have in here from Mochi and Things. I have some personal details here. This wraparound I've mentioned in other videos is from, I purchased it from Amazon. Traveler's Notebook has similar ones, but they sell out so quickly. So this is a passport size. All of these insert are passport size. And this is from Amazon. Everything here, I think you can get on Amazon. I have it on my, Amazon storefront. I think the only thing that you can't is this little wrap around because I made it from leftover page protector and I just cut it down to fit. So I have this wrap around, I have this wrap around which I made, and then this standard wrap around is also from Traveler's Notebook and it is the zipper pouch on one side and the card slots on the other. And then as I mentioned before, I have this obvious state, these little mini kind of they have just 30 pages and it fits perfect inside the center. If you haven't already seen any of the other videos, I'll go through it really quick. This is where I keep in this little pocket, I keep my ID and my most used credit card or ATM. Right now it's ATM because I swear I'm starting the new year saving money and not spending. I'm going to do a no spend year from my mouth to God's ears. Okay, and then this pocket here just has stuff that I know I'm going to need while I'm out and about easy. Like I have a deposit here and cash and a check deposit. And I think I have a Starbucks card. I have this little thing. I took it of the photo from a Google search. I minimized it. And on the back, I have my codes to get into my car. I have one of those keyless vehicles that have a special code that I could technically leave my keys in the vehicle and just kind of type in a code but I never remember the code. I never remember the code to lock it or to unlock it or to open the trunk and so this is what this little mini traveler's notebook photo on the back has my codes for my vehicle so that I can if I want to get off with just my wallet and no keys. That's just my little way of remembering the codes. This is a just a Google search photo that I cut out and put against some scrapbook paper. This is a tarot card, the full, if you know about tarot cards, the deck starts with the full as the number one card, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure. And it just represents each person's journey, the beginning of their journey. And the whole deck goes through like what a person goes through, their learning, their growth. And so I like the idea of having the full in my wallet because it just reminds me that we're all on a journey of learning, growing, and expanding as a human being. So that's why he's there. I have a, again, the pocket, the zipper doesn't have anything. It's just a photo or rather a sticker from Paper Panda. I put some vellum inside. There's a picture of my family, my notebook that I use when I'm out and about. It's why this book is in the center. My credit cards that I use, but not as often as the one that's up front. Another little paper that's kind of just my family and some scrapbook paper. And then in here I have my medical cards. And then here, as I've mentioned, I have a month monthly moleskin pocket that 
houses um, you can see here this would see the view of 2022 the view of 2023 and then all the months would just have my personal appointments and my boss's travel so what I want to do different and what I was kind of playing around with is I want to take this out obviously we've got to update it and take out 2022 and add the 2023 monthly of Moleskin. I've already added the little meeting sticker. This is from old Franklin Covey divider labels. And then I've already kind of decorated the 2023. I was sitting watching a movie, Christmas movies, and I decided to go ahead and decorate my monthly Moleskine that was gonna go on my wallet. I swear, if I had a overhead camera on my coffee table you guys would get to see so much stuff but again i have a special setup somewhere else in the house and it's hard for me to kind of get it all started but here is what i worked on i just did some decoration some stickers that i printed on my silhouette i just stamped 2023 i have a little dart here that goes into 2024 annual overview and then i just there's all these papers in between or these pages in between that I do not use. And then all the months are here. And then I just took, there's a lot of note pages on the back that I never used. I never used in the last one. So what I've decided to do is I put some washi tape where that the note pages started and a little bookmark. And what I think I'm gonna do is to save space because I'm gonna add another insert in here, so I need to take one out. I am going to remove this one, the obvious state one, because I already have the notes here. So if I'm out and about, there's sufficient notes here that I could take notes and the reality is what I actually write in here is almost 99% of the time appointments. Like if I'm out and about and the appointments, the orthodontist or the dentist or doctor's appointments for Bell or therapy appointments, whatever, they, this is where I kind of write them. What I do is I check my calendar and they say, is this day okay? And I say yes. And then I write it down in here so that when I get home, I can take this information and move it into my everyday carry because that is where everything is housed. That's my master calendar, et cetera, et cetera. So what I've decided is I'm not, I'm taking this out and I'm gonna use the notes in the back for this same use. I found in my stash, which is always fun, I had ordered these from cloth and paper a couple of years ago, I think. I never really used them in my everyday carry because I would do the same thing in my everyday carry. Instead of putting on a post-it, I would go and write it in my notes pages, you know, scribble it so that then later I could put it in the appropriate place. So what I decided is to take some of these out and put it here in this master note page so that when I am out and about, I'm gonna turn straight to my notes and this is where I'll be able to put the appointments and then take this and put it in the everyday carry so I remind myself to, to put it in the right spot. Okay, so that's the first change is removing this insert from the center where I'm used to having it and writing notes and instead start using the appointments here and then any additional notes that I make, that's where that will go. So let's go ahead and put this in here. All right, that's nice and snug. Okay, so here we go. We have 2023, 2024, and then we go straight into January. I did go through and just put dots on the holidays and highlighted with a really light gray the pay period so that I know so that is set and ready to go. I took this specific insert out because I had an idea. Here's the idea I came up with. I have extra, I have a few of these. These traveler notebooks, zipper, card holder pouches. And one is actually broken. Let me show you the one that I have that, I don't know what I did, but I accidentally broke the little clasp that goes here. And I'm like, oh, well, it's not a big deal. I'll use, eventually I'll use it for something. Well, this is what I'm gonna use it for. I am going to use this as 
my pocket envelope system. And I know that sounds bonkers, but I have an idea and we're gonna try it together. The other things I have that I'm gonna utilize here is I have these mochi and things. These are note pages. They're not stickies. And I bought them a while ago and I never really used them. And then I, these sticky notes I got from Daiso and they're just a monthly plan. You can circle the month and then you can add whatever you want. It's kind of, you can use it as a tracker, I don't know, but I bought these because I saw them and I loved them. Had no idea what I would use them for, but now I kind of have an idea. So I'll set these aside. So what I wanna do is put these three categories as my cash envelope systems. So let's move this girl out of the way. And the way that I view it is the, the three, this has, let me see, so this has one slot. This is different than the card slot one. This one has one slot here and then two card slots here. So that kind of works because it's the, the three categories that I need to rein in. So this big one, because it's the most, has the most room, I'm probably going to do grocery money there. And then I'll do eating out and miscellaneous spending here. And then this pocket will, in theory, hold these which will be kind of the logs for the three categories. So I can keep track of what is happening or how much I have left. So we'll, we'll play around with this together and see how it works out. So these I wanna have fit in here and they're a little big. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut them down. Okay, so let's do that. Let's move this out of the way. Let's get a few of these. We'll just start in my plan with these, I will, most likely do these every week. I'm such a nerd about placing these things. I had an old paper cutter, like old from like 2017 that my ex fiance had purchased for me. And I had to always guess where the line was, like where it was gonna cut. I, I decided to throw that out because it was just driving me nuts. And I bought this one and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is how people cut precisely because you can see the line of where you're cutting all right so we're just cutting the tops off of these to try to get them to fit inside let's see let's just see if this fits yeah that fits pretty well okay so those are those okay and then I want to round the corners. I'm like a dork about rounding the corners. So let's just take these and round the corners. This is probably too many. So let's get, this is a We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board, but it also, you're able with this little thing to round the corners, which I want to do in this particular instance, just so it's cleaner. I will be updating areas in my stuff that I need to. Okay, let's put that aside. All right, now what we're gonna do, and again, this is all on the fly, people. We're doing this together. Okay, so the idea here is that, let's take three. I'm gonna take one, two, three. Three for the January 6th payday, but right now I have Christmas money and groceries that I need to do because I have that cash. So let me get a pin. All right, so we're gonna do Christmas money. And I have a hundred dollars for Christmas. For this one, this is grocery money. I just got paid on December 23rd. And I do 250 every two weeks in my grocery money, but I have 200 now. The question I'm trying to decide is, do I want to put the date of my payroll? So here it would have been December 23rd. That's what this 200 is from that pay date. Or do I put, it's supposed to last me through the next pay date and put the next pay date here. I think what I'm going to do is put the pay date that it's supposed to last me through because then I can see whether or not that's going to work is there. So January 6, 2023. So I'm going to just put this here. So that way I know that this $200 is supposed to last me through 
the next pay period, okay? Christmas, it's just a hundred bucks that I was gifted, and so that doesn't need to have a date, so we'll put those aside. And then these, let's just do it just so that we can see what it will look like next um, pay period. So we have a grocery, and this is $2.50 every pay period. And then we have eating out. Eating out is how much? I think it's $100 every pay period. And then we have miscellaneous spending. It's 120 Okay, and then the pay period that this is supposed to last through. So this, I will get, this money will be funded on January 6th, and it has to last me through January 20th. So let's do 20th. Okay, January 20th, and we'll just add that down here. January 20th, January 20th, January 20th. So the idea would be that on January 6th when I get paid, I pull these amounts out and put them in cash in my wallet. And I'll show you just with these two that we know for now how that's going to work. All right, so the idea is that this will go in here so that when I'm out and about, all right, so that's there. Then the idea is that I'm going to have the month at a glance here, not really a month at a glance, but basically a no spend calendar here. So let's do that because this will go like this. It'll go here. And I hope to have little dots. Let me see, where's my dot? We'll fill this out, but the goal would be that every day that I don't spend, I will be able to fill in those dots, right? Like this. That's the goal, to have a no spend month. <laughs> or at least not go over the amounts that I have allocated. And then the idea would be that everything that's extra would go back into the savings account. So let's go ahead and do this for January. Let's move that out of the side. We're going to do January. So let me just write January. January starts on the 1st. So this will just be... Again, I'm, I thought about this last night and I thought, well, let me video it. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, we start again in February. But it'll be nice to try to get my spending under control. And it's so funny because I was telling my kids that I wanted to, you know, control my spending. And they laugh like, sure, mom. And I'm like, well, what that means is I need to order everything I want before <laughs> January 1st. So that I really, everything I want, I got before the end of the year and I won't be spending. Okay, there's January. Uh, filled out the dates. So we're just going to, I love these stickies. I want to go back to Daiso and get more. But this will last me years to come. But I again, my hoarding mentality. So we'll just add this here. Okay, so here's a little grocery, my little expense sheets. Here's the no spend month at a glance. And then I want to label these three so I know which is which. Again, this is the bigger pocket. So I have these old removable stickers so you can stick them on something and they come right off. And it doesn't damage your folder, doesn't damage anything. So the idea was going to be, let me pull out my Sharpie to just do a grocery sticker, miscellaneous spending sticker, and an eating out sticker. So let's try to do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take these. Let's do groceries first. Let me remove this sticker, all right. We're going to do groceries first, so that'll be here. Let me 
make sure that's there correctly. Okay, and then we're gonna do the other sticker, which is miscellaneous spend. Make sure this is correct, yeah. Miscellaneous spending. And the next sticker is eating out. And we'll put that there. All right. So I think that looks good. So I have a, some cash. I have 200 bucks for the groceries. So here's the 200 bucks. And the idea would that would be that there's the groceries. And then if it's We'll take one out and just show you what the other one. Then if I'm in it, I would have to fold it and put it in here. So that's what that's going to look like. And then like last night, like I said, I bought a Frickson or a couple nights ago. I bought a Frickson for my Christmas money. So how that would look is I did Amazon. $12.80. So from a hundred, that would leave me eighty-seven twenty. All of this stuff, like Monday, Tuesday, whatever, that really doesn't mean anything. I think what is important, especially for the Christmas, because it's just for me to track how much I'm spending so that I don't go over the hundred gift. The groceries, it doesn't matter either. But what does matter is every week I need to account for how much I spent because I purchased an insert that does financial tracking. I saw this on, I can't pronounce her thing, Crefective Paper. I loved seeing this on her page. So it's a spending, tra a finance tracker. For me, it's, I'm gonna use it as a spending tracker to stay within budgets. Hopefully that tracker will keep me honest and I'll be able to track my spending this is perfect. So the idea would be that I pull the cash from the appropriate location. I keep my, as soon as, you know, I use my ATM or whatever card and then I put the receipt in here. And then when I get home, I will then take the receipt and apply it to the correct area. That would be the goal. So these will stay in here until I'm ready to log the receipts. And then this is the reason why I took this um, the obvious state out of here because it just made sense to do the notes back here and I needed extra room to put this guy in here so let's just take this string and put it in here and that is what that looks like. Do we like this? Do we think this is gonna work? And again the idea would be that I don't spend any money on that particular day I'm gonna get to dot it so that I can see what my no spend looks like for that. But this is what this is gonna look like. So this is my new wallet setup. I have all the same thing. I need to take this out and put the January one, but I don't have them with me right this second. So we'll put that one away. And this is what this is looking like, which is all the same. We're just adding this insert. So this is my new kind of cash envelope system. Not really an envelope, I guess. It's just, the th I luckily enough have three categories that I need to take control in. I'm guessing if you had four, you can use the, well, the one that has four, like this one. This is the card holder that has four. So if you had four categories, you could do four. I, I would assume if you wanted to. I'm trying this out, so we will see. So that is our little attempt of cash envelope hack in your pocket wallet. And hopefully this works for me. <laughs> we'll know in a couple of weeks whether this works. I'll do an updated video to see if it works or not. But that is that. I think it's pretty cool. I hope it works. And I kind of like that it's in the back because my ATM is here and my ID so that when I go out, I can just grab the cash and use it. If I have any change, it'll probably go into this zipper pouch and then I get home and dump it into my change bucket. So that is that. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. 
Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Please like this video if you enjoyed it at all. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so now and you'll get alerts every time that I post a new video, which is going to be a lot in 2023. So thanks again. See you later. Bye.